Perpetual motion machines are interesting. They can operate indefinitely without using any external source of energy. They can even create free energy out of nowhere. But is that really possible? There are so many videos and people on the internet who claim to invent these machines. But unfortunately, none of them is real because these machines defy the basic laws of physics and thermodynamics. There are three types of perpetual motion machine, first kind, second kind and the third kind. Let's talk about perpetual motion machine or the first kind. It's a simple device that supplies more energy than it consumes. Thus it creates free energy out of nowhere. For example, take this simple isolated heat engine. It takes 100 units of heat energy from reservoir and supplies 200 units of energy in the form of work. Thus it creates 100 units of more energy. But the question is where this extra energy is coming from? As you know, in an isolated system, energy cannot be created or destroyed. This is the first law of thermodynamics and this machine is violating the first law of thermodynamics which is impossible. And that's why perpetual motion which is the first kind is impossible to build. Now let's talk about perpetual motion in the second kind. This is interesting. It doesn't create free energy but it has the capacity to convert all of the heat into work. For example, take that isolated heat engine again. It takes 100 units of heat energy from reservoir, supplies 100 units of work. As we can see, there is no loss or gain of heat here. So this machine doesn't violate the first law of thermodynamics. But still, this machine is not possible to build because it violates the second law of thermodynamics. We state that 100% conversion of heat into work is impossible. And why is that? To understand this, we have to understand this heat engine. To convert all of the heat into work, the efficiency of this heat engine must be 100%. And this is only possible when the temperature of sink is 0 Kelvin. But achieving 0 Kelvin temperature is impossible because at this temperature, molecular motion completely ceases to exist and the volume of gas becomes 0. Without 0 Kelvin, 100% conversion of heat into work is impossible and that's why perpetual motion machine of the second kind is impossible to build. Perpetual motion machine of the third kind. This is the only machine which is theoretically possible to build because it doesn't create or convert free energy. It's just a simple device which doesn't have any friction or any resistive force and that's why there is no loss of energy. Once started, it can run forever. For example, take this simple pendulum. In the absence of friction or any resistive force, this pendulum will keep moving forever back and forth continuously. But as we know, machines are made up of mechanical components. No matter how hard we try, we cannot remove the friction completely. And that's why perpetual motion machine of the third kind is also not possible.